Hey there, YouTubians. What's going on? Um, this is my uh, video uh, vacation vlog for Thursday, um, but I'm recording it the night before so I can upload it early. Uh, I wanted to show you guys this intersection here, which is in my neighborhood. This is Montrose right here, uh, kind of a busy street, and this is Clifton, okay? So this stoplight is fairly new, this, this, uh, this stoplight and everything, and all the walk signals, everything like that. Okay, now watch this. Here's the walk signal over here. Instant pedestrian gratification and instant yellow light for the busy street and I get to walk over right away because I get the walk signal immediately. It immediately turns the um, busy cross street yellow. Isn't that amazing? The best pedestrian intersection in all of Chicago. I love it. Oh, there's the L. So, um, in addition to doing video blogs and what have you, uh, I've been, you know, kind of taking it extremely easy. Um, been going to see friends, going out drink a little bit, having lunch with people, that kind of thing. But uh, the big project, of course, uh, that I wanted to uh, get a good handle on uh, while I have two weeks off uh, is uh, this script. Um, I mentioned uh, earlier that my brother and I are uh, going to be uh, interested in trying to get uh, our own uh, film made uh, next year. Uh, and so I have to write the script first. So we've been going back and forth on story points and what have you. And like the day before uh, I, I start my vacation, I call him up and I go, uh, so are we ready yet? I mean, uh, is all the uh, scenes sort of in order? Is there any big changes you want to make? He's like, no, it's pretty good. We can get started. So no, I haven't been working on it every single day. I've been, you know, working on it a bit. So, um, so and it's coming along pretty well. And I'm hoping to get a lot of it done uh, in the next week and a half. Uh, it's exciting. Uh, so, okay. Um, we're on to 98 right now. Um, 98 wasn't a, a real big uh, year for me as far as movies go. There weren't a, a huge amount of uh, movies that I really uh, loved and there wasn't a whole lot that I was really looking forward to either. Armageddon and Deep Impact were duking it out of the box office or who had the biggest uh, rock. Uh, and then Saving Private Ryan came along and wiped the floor with both of them but it lost Best Picture to Shakespeare in Love which also got Best Actress for Gwyneth Paltrow and, um, and uh, Best Actor went to Roberto Benigni for uh, his film Life is Beautiful, which no one could believe and still can't believe to this day. Um, my favorite movies of that year were, number five was There's Something About Mary, which was terrific comedy. I didn't expect it to be that good, but the instant I saw it, I knew that it would, it would win Best Movie at MTV the following year, and it did. Uh, it's a really, really fun movie, really funny. Uh, yeah, kind of kind of stupid, but but lots and lots of fun. Uh, my number four pick for the year was uh, Dark City, which uh, is directed by Alex Proyas, who went on to do um, uh, I, Robot, the Will Smith movie I, Robot. Um, and this is, uh, of course, with Rufus Sewell and Jennifer Connelly, and they're two people that are trapped in this city uh, that they can't find their way out of, and the light, uh, the, the sunlight never seems to come, the sun never rises, they don't understand what's going on. Uh, Really cool mystery and, and, and quite moving actually. It's one of those uh, uh, sci-fi romances that I enjoy quite a bit of. Then there's uh, my number three pick that year was uh, Out of Sight, uh, which is uh, Soderbergh's big sort of comeback uh, back in the studio system. He really was floundering for uh, a bunch of years there and uh, he ended up making uh, a really low budget movie uh, that went well for him, sort of re-energized him creatively and he came back with Out of Sight, which is uh, another Elmore Leonard ad adaptation. The previous year, of course, was Jackie Brown. And it's funny because the same actor appears in both movies as the same character, Michael Keaton playing uh, Ray Nicolet uh, with, uh, with the federal government. Um, out of Sight is my favorite Steven Soderbergh movie. It's lots of fun. All the actors are really, really great. It's a great script. I just love his editing style. I'm really become a big fan of the way Soderbergh edits his movies. Uh, so yeah, yeah, terrific. Uh, and of course, George Clooney, you know, is one of his best performances there. And, uh, and Jennifer Lopez, one of her actual decent performances. I'm not a big fan of hers, but she's 
well, well, well utilized in that movie, and there are a lot of great character actors in it. My number two pick of the year was uh, The Thin Red Line, uh, which is by Terrence Malick. It was also nominated for Best Picture, and you know, I, you know, if I was being dishonest, I might put that lower down on the list, you know, I mean, I'd rearrange it slightly because, I mean, when I saw The Thin Red Line, it was a big challenge to get through because it's three hours and it's not really uh, plot driven. Uh, it's a beautiful movie. I mean, the photography is just amazing. I saw it in this crappy little theater, you know, uh, where the seats were a mess, and it was three hours long, but it was gorgeous. The photography was so stunning. Um, but it is one of those uh, movies that it's just really sort of hard to get into because it's just so all over the place. And Malik did that intentionally. He didn't like having, you know, studio executives uh, telling him to make the movie more plot-driven or more about a particular battle, a particular objective. He was just interested in sort of capturing a, a mood. Uh, so, uh, yeah, oh, and Adrian Brody, poor Adrian Brody had his entire part practically cut out. He has one line in the whole movie, and he's supposed to be one of the main characters. They just cut out most of his scenes. So if I was uh, making this list today, I'd probably rank it down at five or four, but, uh, but uh, yeah, at the time, I, I, I was pretty, uh, uh, you know, floored by it, so I liked it enough to rank it that high. My number one favorite movie of the year, this is a really strange one, it's called Your Friends and Neighbors. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, independent movie In the Company of Men. That's the one that put Aaron Eckhart on the map. It was like uh, the first uh, uh, movie that really got him a lot of attention, playing this horrible character. And, uh, for the follow-up, Neil LaBute, the writer-director, um, uh, did uh, another movie with Aaron Eckhart, but he also got a, a bunch of bigger names for the cast. Jason Patrick, Ben Stiller, Catherine Keener, uh, Amy Brenneman, they're all in it. And it's uh, just basically a series of people that have relations with, uh, with each other. Some are couples, some are friends, some just hate each other. Uh, but the one thing that's kind of unique about the movie you know, we were talking about Fight Club, the, um, the, uh, the movie in which Edward Norton plays a character that doesn't have a name. Well, all the characters in the movies have names, but when I saw the credits, I realized that their names were Carrie, Barry, Larry, Mary, stuff like that. They all rhymed with each other. And I thought, well, that's weird. How come I didn't notice that while I was watching the actual film? And then I realized that the way the script is written, no one ever says anybody's name. Okay, those names are just completely arbitrary, the ones that you see in the credits, because none of the characters actually ever refer to any of the other characters or themselves by their first name. The dialogue is written in such a way so they say, well, he said this, or so-and-so said that, she said this, or I, blah, blah, blah. But the way it's written, you always know who it is they're talking about, even though nobody ever says anybody's name. That was a pretty neat trick, I thought. So, um, I mean, I really like the movie a lot. It's, it's pretty vicious, actually. Very, very dark film. Um, but, uh, yeah, terrific. Uh, and, and that's just, you know, one little innovation that sort of put it, you know, over the top for me. It's going, oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's so admirable. I'm making it best movie of the year. I probably would say Out of Sight is the best movie uh, of that year. The one that I, I, I enjoy the most. But at the time, you know, Your Friends and Neighbors really kind of blew me away. They're all really good. You know, they're all really good. Especially Dark City. Dark City is a... Uh, you know, a, a movie I can keep going back to and, and enjoy and, and find very moving, even though I, I know, you know, I know a lot of it, you know, by heart right now. I'm just on my way to uh, get some groceries. I wanted to do that thing with a stoplight, though. And uh, so I'm just wandering around the neighborhood back and forth in the non-busy areas while I record. Hope people aren't too disturbed by my talking too loud. I don't know. Anyway, time to call it quit for now. quits for now. And I will... Uh, make another video for you on Friday. See you then, guys. Take it easy.